Hello students. Today we'll be studying about post fertilization structure and events. We'll talk about seed and fruit from the chapter sexual reproduction in flowering plants. Okay, so in our last class we have seen how fertilization has happened and after fertilization what has formed. So we have seen that after fertilization the zygote has formed due to syngamy and primary endosperm cell has formed due to triple fusion. Okay, so primary endosperm cell when will it will undergo multiple mitotic divisions it will go and form endosperm which is a nutritive tissue for developing embryo zygote will undergo continuous uh, mitosis to form embryo and embryo and endosperm they are within the ovule okay so they are within the ovule and complete ovule will mature into a seed okay so this is how seed formation is also happening simultaneously and ovules are there inside ovary where the ovules are present they are present within the ovary so ovary is also converting into a fruit simultaneously all of these uh, events are happening simultaneously ovary is converting into a fruit Ov ovule will be converting into a seed and inside ovule there will be formation of endosperm and embryo so we'll see all of them individually first we will see what is like how endosperm development happens okay so primary endosperm cell as we have seen already it's a triploid cell it has three set of uh, chromosomes it will undergo mitosis the initial uh, whatever mitosis are happening, they are free nuclear divisions. It means only nucleus will be dividing and forming many nucleus, but there is no cell division and formation of a cell wall. So there will be many nucleus formation. A very good example of a free nuclear endosperm, this is called free nuclear endosperm and very good example of it is water of coconut if you see the water of the uh, tender coconut the watery part of coconut is free nuclear endosperm okay slowly when endosperm matures while maturation again cell wall formation starts and slowly this watery endosperm will be converting into white coronal that you have seen inside a coconut that white part is nothing but cellular endosperm this is what cellular endosperm so in in all the seeds actually this happens but here you can uh, like prominently uh, see presence of endosperm both free nuclear endosperm as well as cellular endosperm. Coming to the development of embryo, so endosperm uh, development or formation starts just before the formation of the embryo because endosperm will be a nutritive tissue for the developing embryo. Okay, so how embryo development starts? As we know that embryo development is just coming from the zygote which is a single cell and this cell is a diploid cell. Okay, so this cell will undergo further many mitotic divisions and finally it will be forming a complete mature embryo. Okay, so there are different stages of the uh, embryo formation and depending on the different structure of the embryo, they have given the different names. Like this embryo is called globular embryo because of this globular shape of the embryo. This embryo is called heart-shaped embryo because it is giving a heart shape when cotyledon formation have start, started and later it will be giving rise to a complete embryo with uh, two cotyledons. So here this embryo development is from a dicot seed. 
okay so similarly monocot embryo development will also be almost similar but the structure will be little different from the dicot embryo okay so our uh, endosperm formation is complete embryo formation is complete so we'll talk about seeds so majorly seeds are divided into uh, two types monocot seeds and dicot seeds so here they have shown like here in the picture it is shown a monocot seed and a dicot seed monocot have uh, one cotyledon whereas dicot will be having two cotyledons coming to the structure of seed it will be having a seed coat which is a protective coat outside of the seed it will be having embryo inside endosperm will also be there okay endosperm uh, may be completely consumed or sometime endosperm remains as a part of the seed coming to types of the seeds majorly seeds are of two types non albuminous seeds and albuminous seeds okay so in first type under uh, non albuminous seeds if if seeds have consumed endosperm completely and endosperm is not remaining anymore it will be called as non endospermic seeds such as pea and groundnut so in the last picture we have seen pea there was no endosperm okay in an in uh, albuminous seeds a part of uh, endosperm still remains inside a seed and that's why it is called albuminous seeds examples are wheat maize barley castor so in previous picture actually this corn seed is an endospermic seed or albuminous seeds but p is not having endosperm that's why it is x albuminous seeds coming to fruit fruit is the ripened ovary so ovary will be converting into a fruit so fruits can be classified into various types depending on various features here in ncrt uh, these few kind of uh, fruits are given first is a uh, true fruit in true fruit ovary develop into a fruit without any other part of the flower or any any other part of the carpel or any other part of the flower such as tomato and mango so here what happens only ovary is converting into a fruit which is called true fruit what is false fruit if any other part of the flower other than ovary is giving rise to fruit it will be called as false fruit like in case of apple thalamus part is also involved or thalamus is also forming the fruit in case of jack fruit it is perianth which is forming the fruit and in case of an english walnut some part of the perianth and uh, in walnut is also forming the fruit so this is not ovary which is converting into fruit and that's why it is called false fruit okay so there is one more category of the fruits here which is uh, having diff like completely different feature here fruit is forming without fertilization how oh, without fertilization so we know that always fruit and seeds are forming after fertilization but here fruit forms without fertilization and therefore there is no seed formation here and there will be formation of seedless fruits okay example is in case of banana so there is no fertilization happens here and this kind of fruits are known as parthenocarpic fruits okay so with this uh, this is over detail we will see in the actual class thank you students